Hey guys, James here. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Binance smartphone app with the first part of the video dedicated to Binance Lite, which is a simple and easy to use version of the app if you're just getting started and then moving on to using the fully fledged app itself. Binance is the world's largest crypto exchange and offers amongst the lowest fees for trading crypto. I'll show you how to get set up on the app, what you'll need, and then show you how to deposit and withdraw funds and then buy and trade crypto on the app. If you need a more in-depth video, I'll leave that one in the description next to the timestamp stamps for this video and if you want to sign up for Binance I'll leave that link in the description as well. To sign up with an account for Binance you're going to need some ID documents so either a passport or a driving license that has your details on and before we get started those details do have to match up with your payment details in the future so as long as the name and address on your ID documents does match up with any banking details that you have it will make things a lot easier and you won't have to go and change them later. To keep this video short, I won't go through the sign up process as it's fairly self-explanatory. You will just need those ID documents and you can set up an account with your details on Binance just following the instructions when you sign up for a new account. Once all of your information is with Binance and they do open your account, which could take a little while, then we come to the main page. And what I'm gonna do is actually come up to the top left, but I'm actually gonna go into Binance Lite first. You can actually press this toggle and then go into essentially a beginner's version of the app because Binance is pretty complicated to be honest, but Binance Lite really takes out all of that complexity. If you want to buy cryptocurrencies with fiat currency, so if you have US dollars or pound sterling, then that's really what Binance Lite is for and it's a lot easier to get into. Firstly, what I'm gonna do is come over to our wallet. The wallet will just show you all of your holdings. If you've got you know, 30% of Bitcoin, maybe 20% of Ethereum, that will all be shown here for you. And then going down, you can see all of your assets, exactly what you have. From your wallet as well, you can go and deposit and withdraw. So if you want to deposit some fiat currency, come to deposit. You can see it's just right in fiat currency already. So you can just choose the currency. So I'm gonna put in GBP. If you wanna put in USD or AUD or whatever, just click on that right there. And you've got a couple of options in Binance. Firstly is actually using your bank card. So if you have a debit card, the other is a faster payment, which has to be a bank transfer. If you click on this one, it will go through and you have to put your bank details in. You can see that faster payments is selected and then as we come down you can see just choose how much you want to transfer as you come down and confirm your deposit binance will actually pop up a window with their banking details they'll give you their sort code account number and other information depending on which country you're in most importantly though they'll also give you a payment reference number so when you go into your banking application you'll have to put their banking details in and then put your reference number as a memo with the payment so they know where to put your money Depositing fiat currency on your account is by far the best method. It does take a little bit longer, but it is a much cheaper method because you'll only be paying the small exchange fees that Binance charge and you won't be paying any credit card fees. If we go back to our wallet, we can actually come and withdraw fiat currencies as well. So if you've bought some cryptos and then sold those cryptos into a fiat currency, you can withdraw that out to your bank just come and press withdraw and then you'll see the fiat currencies listed here i have pounds if you're in a different country you will obviously have your currency right there if it's supported and then what you can do is choose to withdraw that fiat currency choose the payment system either faster payments or a bank card how much you want to withdraw right here and then go through and continue that will confirm your bank details and also send you an email and other security protocols to go through and confirm that payment if you have deposited some fiat currencies on account or you want to go ahead and buy it, you can actually come over to the markets tab in Binance Lite. What we're looking at here right now is every single cryptocurrency that you can go ahead and buy on Binance sorted by their market cap. You can actually come up here and change that by the price or the 24 hour change, whatever you like. But of course, Bitcoin being the biggest is at the top. So what we can do right now is just click right into one of the cryptocurrencies. And what you'll see is it's just a really simple overview of the actual cryptocurrency. So we have the price of the crypto at the moment valued in US dollars. And then we have the chart of the crypto over given periods. This is a one hour chart, but you can change this maybe to a one week chart. And then what you can do is actually touch this. So let's just go back to the one day and you can touch the chart in a specific area. Just hold down 
and you will see that it will tell you the actual time that you're looking at. And then you can see in the top left, it actually changes the price because what we're essentially doing is knowing exactly what the price was at a given time. So in this instance, 5.39 in the morning, as you can see, the price was 36.683. This is definitely not the most in-depth charting software and it's really an overview rather than giving you much more information than that. This is only Binance Lite. The full version of Binance, which we'll get into later, definitely has a lot more information that you might want. In the crypto screen though, you can see the latest news for this specific cryptocurrency right here. And you essentially have two options, either convert or you can press the trade button here. We'll click on trade right away. And as you can see, it takes you through to a very simple screen. What we're doing now is buying crypto. You can switch to sell right here if you want, but right now we're obviously looking at Bitcoin and then we are choosing a currency to pay in. If you click here, it will bring up all of the list of fiat currencies that you could possibly use. I've got some pound sterling, so that's fine by me. I'll just swipe this down. Then what we can do is just choose the amount that we want to buy. So we can put in an amount right here. Now what we're doing is spending 25 GBP and buying whatever amount of Bitcoin that that will give us at the current exchange rate. You can also change this round though by clicking this. We can choose an amount of Bitcoin. So I'll just type 0 0.05 like this. Then we can go through and press buy and it's going to give us a few deposit options. So if you have deposited some fiat currency already, you can actually go ahead and use your cash balance if that is in your account. If it isn't, it will ask you that you might want to pay with card. So you'll put a card in either a debit card or a credit card. But like I said, credit cards for sure are a much more expensive way to actually go through and buy. And there will be extra charges on top. So it's not recommended. Down here at the bottom, you'll see how much you actually need to spend to buy that amount of Bitcoin. Then you can go through and confirm that and input all of your payment details. Another option though is to convert. So we'll come out to the main page once more and we'll use the quick toggle in the middle right here. So we've gone through buy already. That will take you through to the crypto page. Selling is of course the exact opposite of that. We'll get onto depositing in a second, but you may want to convert cryptocurrencies between one and the other. So what this can do is actually sell one crypto to buy another. So let's say we bought some Bitcoin, but we actually want to sell some of that Bitcoin and put it into Ethereum. Well, you can do that. I can actually go max on account right here and choose any amount of Bitcoin. And what that will do is just swap it right into Ethereum. If you don't know how much Ethereum you want, you can definitely leave it blank. Go through to preview conversion. It's essentially going to get you an exchange rate and then it will show you how many Ethereum or any other crypto that you choose. You can actually get and purchase with the amount of the other crypto that you're selling in order to buy the secondary crypto. If you want to go ahead and refresh or go ahead and trade and convert, just press that one and then it will do it for you. Lastly, on Binance Lite, we can come and deposit some cryptocurrencies into our account. So if you have another account or if you have a friend that wants to transfer some cryptocurrencies to you, you can actually click on deposit and then you'll have to go and choose the cryptocurrency that you want to deposit. So you can click on crypto and I'm just going to search for BTC. Then what will happen when you click this is it will show you your Bitcoin address that you have at Binance. If anyone wants to send you any Bitcoin, you'll have to show them this address. You can see there are a few different addresses right here. You have to choose BTC if you're accepting BTC. Someone else can scan your QR code if they want, if they have a smartphone, or if they don't, you can just copy this address and give that to them. And then they can withdraw or send from their application and then send you crypto to your Binance Bitcoin address. For most people, actually, this will be enough. And I think Binance Lite is a very easy to use platform. We'll come over to the Binance application, which gives us far more professional tools and a lot more options in terms of really being specific about what we buy and when. Firstly, you can see that the homepage has definitely got a lot more going on. You can see a rankings list right here. So top gainers and losers, you can definitely sort them all and have a look around. What's great about the Binance app though is really these options right here. So we can actually go to more and then this is pretty much everything you can do in the app. We've already seen in the Binance Lite version how to deposit and to be honest, it is exactly the same. Just find the actual currency, whether that be a cash currency or a crypto that you want to deposit and then go through and do that deposit just like we saw with the Lite version. We also have the convert feature in the Binance app, which is more or less exactly the same as the Lite version as well. But in the, but in the Binance app, we have extra options. We have a spot market we can trade in. We have margin futures peer-to-peer -peer, and we have stock tokens as well. For this quick tutorial, I'm just gonna focus on spot trading. 
Spot trading is the open cryptocurrency market. So if you want the best prices possible, then you'll want to trade in the spot market. We can actually get to that through a different method though. We can come down and press on the markets tab right here, and then we can go over to spot. Now, if you have any favorites, you can actually favorite them here and they will be listed here. So you can look at your favorite cryptos or the ones that you trade very often. But let's come over to the spot market right now and we'll come over to fiat currencies right here. You can use the search bar up here to search for any crypto that you want to trade. But very easily, you can see that US dollar tether markets right here. So the fiat markets, we can see all of them here and the biggest cryptos that are trading right now, we can choose them. So I'm going to come over to US dollar tether and Bitcoin. I'm going to click on this just to show you. So what this is right now is the Bitcoin US dollar tether market, and we see some much more professional tools. I'm not going to get into what these tools are right now because I have other more in-depth videos going over that. But this is what traders would look at when they are looking at buying an asset. So really simply right here, we can see that the price of Bitcoin against US dollar tether right here, some extra highs and lows, so good trading information. And we can see the current order book. So these are all the orders that people actually have in the market. Very simply though, what you can do is just press buy or sell, and then you can input your orders. If you have a fiat currency, then you may want to actually use a stable coin to go ahead and buy other cryptos because that's what we usually do using a stable coin as the secondary currency in the pair. If you don't know how to do that, we can actually go back. And what you have to do is find a fiat currency and then trade that into a stable coin. Binance also supports fiat currency to crypto purchases though. So for example, if I choose GBP right here, you can actually see that GBP has some markets. I can buy Dogecoin with pound sterling. I can buy Engine Coin, Cake, Litecoin, and Bitcoin directly with pound sterling. So if you have pound sterling, you don't need to switch it into a stable coin. If you can't find your currency and the market that you want though, then it is suggested you go and get a stable coin like US dollar tether or Binance US dollar. These will have much more markets against the cryptos that you want to buy. In any case, entering orders is the same no matter what you're buying. So let's come into the Bitcoin market once more. Then we'll just come over and place a buy. You can see we've got buy and sell right here. We are in the spot market, not going to cover these markets right now. With this more complex order screen, we can actually buy and sell and input limit orders, which is when we choose the price that we want to pay. Right now, the price in the market is this price right here. And if we're a buyer, then we may want to either pay these prices or join the bid. But it doesn't really matter. I can just press this price and you can see it changes on the right hand side. And then I can change the price that I'm willing to pay. So if I want some cheaper Bitcoin, I can reduce it like this, then choose the amount that I want to buy. So I'm just going to put 0 0.005, press done, and it will show me exactly how much that I need to spend because we have the amount of Bitcoin I want to buy and the price that I'm willing to pay. So it just does that very simple calculation for us. Then we can go and input that order and that order will come down here in our open orders until it's matched with a seller in the market. And then we have gone ahead and bought that, the exact opposite for selling, of course. Like I said, we've already gone through converting. That is when you use one crypto to sell to another. It's a much easier way of doing things, but you don't have control over the price that you're paying and you can't input limit orders like we have here. If you need more help on that, definitely check the videos in the description. But what we're gonna do now is come over to our wallet. This is very important in the Binance app. This will give you an overview of all the assets that you have in the different trading accounts. We've gone over spot trading account, not gonna cover futures in this one. But if you want to withdraw or deposit, again, we've seen that already, you can go to deposit and withdraw. So for example, press withdraw and then either crypto or cash. If you're withdrawing to your bank, then obviously you need those details. And if you're withdrawing a cryptocurrency, then obviously you will need the details of the wallet that you're sending to. Like we saw earlier on in the video, every cryptocurrency in every wallet has an address. So this time you'll have to get that address from the other wallet, paste it in here, make sure the network is correct. It will ask you how much you want to send. It will show you how much that blockchain charges for that withdrawal. Then you can go ahead and confirm that withdrawal to another wallet, whether you have a crypto wallet or sending it to a friend. And on the Binance app, we also have Binance's earn platform as well. We can come to home, then we can come to more. Then you can see in finance, there are lots of different products. You can go ahead and stake some of your cryptos to earn some passive income on them. So we can click on this right here and you'll see that a bunch of different cryptos can be staked for various timescales. So if we click on available only, we can see what's available right now. 
And you can see that for Matic right now, you can stake those coins for either 15 or 30 days. And the rate for the 15 day staking is an APY of 43%. The staking periods and APY will change depending on the crypto. You can definitely have a look at this. And also in savings, if you have any stable coins, also Bitcoin is supported right here. Binance, US dollar, US dollar tether, both stable coins. You can see I've got auto subscribe on here. These are savings products that Binance does provide. So if you have any of these cryptocurrencies on account, then you may want to go ahead and earn some passive income with the savings products in the Binance app. If you want to go ahead and download Binance, I'll leave the link in the description for you. This was a quick run through and I've definitely got some more detailed tutorials in the description as well. So check those out if you want. Do subscribe for daily helpful crypto content and I'll see you in the next one.